that's because I am an expert, a professional. Hi, guys. Hello. Jason is bragging about being a professional. What are you a professional at, Jason? Uh, professional at centering things. We were talking about the, the, the view of what the camera was seeing. And see, like, there's this big, full light. Which never used to show yeah. up, but now the Professor light is starting to show up. But that's okay. We'll, we'll survive. Mm -hmm. we, Jason, we will. We talking will about centering things, you are... But as also, as you can be. one looks to, to center people. Too, right? Someone who is like, you know, kind of like uh, in an anxious state. You know, it's like they, they need to be centered. Okay, right? Jason. Well, and that's what we do for a living. We center people. We get them back to their original place before somebody uncentered them. Remember how fine you were before he came along? Oh, there's a song out or now. She. Or she. Right. Remember how fine you are? There's a song out that's kind of... Re I can't remember. Is it Closure? Hey. Is it Closure? Dun, 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 before I met you. I was fine before I met you. Do, do you guys know that song, Closure and the Words? I love that song. I don't know it. I love that song. But I get it. Yep. Right? You I was get fine. It. I was fine. I <laughs> All right. It's closure. Chain, chain, chain smokers or something like that. Closure. Sorry, I'm still fine. Go December. Go December. Right? <laughs> I die the queen. Back again. Yes. This is a special week. This is presidential week. So we're going to just throw the psychics in their A game. You're going to meet, you know, many of the psychics. I'll be back here tomorrow. I'm going to go get my hair done and I'm going to come back here tomorrow. I just like when you, when you have a musical interlude. And you just start singing a song. Or, you know. I thought about you, Jason. I want to do your arm CDs. Jason has these amazing arm CDs, by the way. That what, you what can are you buy them. Oh, oh, I said arm. Um. You know I butcher everything. <clears throat> not everything. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. But not everything. But Jason, I have, Jason has these own CDs. And then <clears throat> Jason invited me to do like something with him. And then I thought about it. I was like, ah, Jason, the only way I could do something with you is if we change it to... <laughs> we have to change it to... Amen. Amen. Can you do that? There is. There, you know, there, there is a, a root in that. Like, Amen. Um, because the uh, om is like the, the beginning, it represents the beginning, middle, and end, right? Okay. And, and amen, I think, is, uh, you know, because it, the original spelling is A-U-M of om, right? The original spelling of om is A-U-M. A-U-M. Yeah, it's, it's represented now. Which, which is, is a derivative, oh. derivative of amen. Well, I, I think uh, they, they are, they, they have the, yeah, like, um, uh, like, like roots, right? Um. Yeah, December. Yeah. But huh. but what came first? I don't know. I mean, it's like you know, the the Sanskrit has been around for thousands of years. The the Hebrew has been around for thousands of years. Well, it's yeah. Like, I mean, they, they've been like. I know, go to Bible study notes, you and know, each other for. I'm not an educator, so I'm gonna forget. But we have talked about this. Where the word, the name Jesus was never the name. Or is that Yahweh? Right. Well, in, in well, Yahweh was somewhere in the middle. It was something even prior to Yahweh. Okay. You know, and then as they <clears throat> developed, certain letters began to shape like this, and that's how somehow or another we got the J. But don't go by me, because I go to Bible study and I'm overwhelmed at Bible study. I swear to God, I'm learning everything for the first time, and so I'm trying my best. But my point is, I could see where um. A U M led to Om, yeah, but right. probably <clears throat> derived from. I'm guessing. I bet if I ask one of my theologians, they will tell me. Probably at Bible study, yeah, probably sure. is a deriv derivative of. Amen. Where Om? Om is A U M. A yeah. Yeah, I mean that's it, possible. It, it's possible, um, but like you know, like like Ayurveda, the Indian. Uh, uh, I medicine has been around for, for thousands of years. We are all connected, yes. Thousands. And, and that's the important part, right? Yeah, we're about all that connected, connection, yes. You know? it's, it's like, when, once and you start to like, bicker about... It doesn't matter how we get there, 
Does about it matter? the semantics and all that? that that's when it, it just gets real. Because we're all connected. Because what we want to do is get our core, our chakras at peace and alignment. So I'd love to argue with you, Jason, about it's where all chakras, in It's called chakras, not chakras. <laughs> what I'm is sorry. It? I have to like correct you. I gotta you on stop. That. I gotta argue with you now. <laughs> what did I say? Chakras? No, you said chakras. I did say chakras. But I think it's chakras. Wait, I'm really pronouncing it wrong? Do you, do you call them Deepak? Chok Chokra? I probably Chopra? do. Jason, you're talking about me. I probably do butcher his poor name. <laughs> um, that would be really funny. I, I can't help yeah. how badly I. Speak. It is adoring me. By the way, let's just talk. It is the. It's me. It is. It's you. But I mean, your willingness to to put your your linguistic head out on the chopping block there is <laughs> yes. it, it is something to behold. You so see? thank you, thank you, Tracy, for you all your see courage. chakras. Basically, we, you, we all can see chakras. I don't see chakras. I choose not to see it. It's too much for me to see. I can tell you which chakras are off in a reading, but I don't go around looking at chakras. And, and, and some people you can't help but notice. Some people are exhuming chakras, yes. Yeah, yeah so, totally true. And you can't help but point it out in the reading. Especially in the in-person reading, you're kind of like, oh, uh, cause your I, I do that chakra with, with... is off, your sex chakra. I can always tell when somebody's sex <clears> chakra is <throat> off, or if they're using it way too much, right. that, which is also an off-balance. Well, I'll, I'll read energy. I'll read people's energy at the beginning of a reading, and, mm. and and I can tell if they're kind of like holding, holding back. You know, if they're not like amplifying mm. their, their own energy. Yeah. You know, if they're if they're like, you know, and yeah. well, it's it's important, I, I think, to uh, point it out if it is like something that is is very noticeable. Jason, we do have some new people on, and so somebody is asking how long your beard is, and Jason has a shirt what? that showcases how mm -hmm. long his beard is, and it ends in wizardry, right? Your beard is as long right. as a wizard. Yeah, it starts off with, like, it has, like, Lumberjack and Sea Captain and Hillbilly and all these ones, Amish. But it should start, wizard. wait, <clears throat> it should start with terrorists, because all the, this your shirt, it should start with terrorists. Because all the young kids are wearing a terrorist beard now. Uh, a lot of young kids are, have like... A, they have the terrorist beard. And, and they'll ask me, they'll say, how long is it going to take for me to like get to your status? And it's like, kid, don't even try. No, it's like it takes years. It takes years to do that. All right. But don't give up. Don't give up. <laughs> Even you ladies Start with there. your terrorist beard and then get to wizard. You, you have to start somewhere, right? Start at the beginning. All the young boys are wearing terrorist beard, and I just don't get it. Like, it scares me, actually. I just don't know who's who anymore. Right? Good boys, good boys. Yeah. They're all wearing yeah. that full beard. Like. But it's, it's, it's kind of like just long enough to be kind of scruffy and, you know. Well, I don't want... No, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say... Because I don't want to place a religion on top of the beard. It just, wait, it's not, wait. Right. <laughs> oh, no. Lord. Now, right. Right. now I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh, Lord. No, the reason why I didn't say a particular culture, because then I'm identifying a whole culture, and I'm not going to go that way. But bad guys, like a terrorist, can be an ingrown Very American, good. too. Enough. Just say full beard, Tracy. Okay. <laughs> Beards are a sign of bestiality. Well, if that's true, then what then is this? Jason, mean? you're yeah. a beast. Like, you're a god. You know, I am, I am a Leo. A Leo a Leo. sun, a Leo moon. So, so you have it in you. Like but beast. ironically, your Leo mm -hmm. moon captures and controls your Leo sun. It does. Really? Enlighten me. Your Leo how, moon. How does, how does this do this? Because, like with me, I'm just a Leo. And so uh, my Leo, just a Leo, but my Leo is pushed out there. When you have a moon arising, you incorporate the nicer uh, uh, components of that sign. <clears throat> so the right. fact that you have a Leo moon pushes out your nicer component of your feisty Leo. So your Leo moon has always controlled you. Oh, interesting. So I'm I'm very nice. 
Like I have a Scorpio moon, so. Oh boy. Oh boy. Mixed with your Leo sun. Oh my There's God. a lot. I have to go. I'm sorry. That's it. Drop the cards. It's over. So. I'm back. Let's, let's get off of Muslims, people. Jews, Greeks, let's get off of them. I didn't mean to start that. Get off of religion. Let's go back to what... We were just talking about facial hair. We were just talking about facial hair, and I <clears throat> it screwed it up. So let's get off. I hope no one's making any derogatory comments because I'm not a fan of calling out any religion, any people. That's not why I have this show. So it would really bother me, and I would have to delete your comments. Um, so let's get off of Muslims. Let's get off of... Jews and Greeks, what else did we mention? <laughs> Unless you were saying something kind. <laughs> Someone wants to read my beard. Mm, I'm liking that. Everyone is equally beautiful. Yes, please edit it for YouTube so because you'll get a lot. Well, actually, the comments don't show on YouTube. So, thank you. I might delete this then. <laughs> And just put it straight to YouTube. Sometimes it's easier. I'm not because we weren't watching what was being said, and I really cannot participate in any derogatory comments about other people's I religion, I culture. Yeah, that's not what we're about. No, I can't. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Listen, it's hard enough just to be me. <laughs> Although Leos are the best. Sorry, okay. hands down. Tracy loves everyone. Yeah, I, I really do. That's I totally true. That's right? Really true. It's yeah. so true. I operate from a very authentic place. And, oh, they, it wasn't me. We were saying don't call them terrorists. I wasn't calling anybody terrorists. I said the beard was terrorist like. Right. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> Sagittarius. Now, Sagittarius are the best. Of course, Sagittarius that throw themselves in there. Sagittarius are the best. I did a whole month of forecasts for Sagittarius. And. Yes. One of the aspects, of they're very free speaking. They, they don't hesitate in just saying it when they need to say it. Yes, so Jason, tune into Jason's Periscope. Did you have a YouTube? Did you post it on YouTube yet? I we'll figure it out, but it is on his Periscope. I'll figure it out. It's on my Periscope, and then Aries is what I'm doing this coming month for November. Okay, I think I'm getting beat up for the terrorist beard mark. I'm. The, let me say I'm sorry. <clears throat> Does that help? Scorpios, you are the best. Any other signs? You all just want to <laughs> have a Scorpio moon. So I believe Scorpios are the best, too. I think I have a Neptune in Scorpio. Um, all the signs are, are out there. Everyone will get done this, um, this week. And I have Scorpios. Happy birthday, Scorpios. You know, there's no CD player in here to play my album. Not, not in here, but it's on YouTube at Om Dog Om. Own dog own on YouTube. On YouTube. And also at my website, jasondmckeen.com. Own. Oh. Alright. So why are we so, here? Why are we here? Who's gonna win the presidential election? Let's look at both of them. Who who is going sorry, to win? Sorry, Jason. Yes, who is going to win? I think I scratched you, so I'm sorry. No, okay. Okay, good. Thank you. Lawsuit. Yes, Olivia. Yes. She's like, will Donald Trump go through depression? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Only if he loses. <clears throat> this has been a very stressful election. I think this last week has really been stressful. hell. I think with James Comey, is that his name? Coming out with this last minute thing about you know, Anthony Weiner and emails to his wife and Hillary Clinton. And I tweeted the other day, how could Comey just look at um, um, Hillary when, you know, Trump right now is being accused of doing something with a 13-year-old and he hasn't paid his taxes. Why ain't the FBI looking at Trump? Like... You, well, the tax of this thing looks like a loophole. You know, it looks like a valid loophole. That's, that's it's valid me. because of the way he is not paying his taxes. It, it's, but it's how about? But maybe it's not that. We don't know if he's not paying his taxes. How about if he just showed his taxes? 
Well, it's probably it would probably be worse. It's been, but it's right? been mandated with every other presidential election before. How is he getting away with this? Why doesn't the FBI say something it's about that? Because he's gotten away with a lot of stuff. But if Anthony Weiner is a problem for Hillary, why isn't his thirteen-year-old a problem for Trump? Why isn't Comey looking at that? They probably are looking at, it. or it is. Don't it, say it is, that. It we is don't being know. looked at in in a court. No, uh, I'm talking that, about that Comey. Is. I'm talking about Comey. If he can bring is up it, Anthony Weiner, is, is it a federal? Because jurisdiction? he's a presidential uh, possible elected. So the FBI has some placement in making sure we get a healthy, clean president. I don't know that that's the job of the FBI. Though. Well, then what is the job of the FBI when these emails, that he doesn't even know what's on these emails, that he gives a press conference, to, to, for, tells Congress, gives a press conference, that's not his job either. And did you know it's illegal to disrupt an election? It's illegal. It's in the it's books. the Hatch Act. What's it called? The Hatch Act? The Hatch. The Hatch Act. Yeah. Or... So that's illegal. So what is going on here, Jason? You know, I'm, I'm just looking overall at yes. at the election. Yes. You know, uh, you, you know certainly with the, the the fives here that I get, that's that's kind of the judo cards. That's mm -hmm. where things are off balance. You get a lot of fives. Well, I got I got enough here with like the the knight of cups. Okay. Right? Which is it, it's just trying to to offset the it, the imbalanced aspects of it, right? Where. I mean, it's like the, the, the messages that come through, it's like kind of remember that that uh, five of ones, we're all in it together, that, you know, there there is a, uh, a spiritual component that, that we need to be mindful of there. And it, it, it's it's not meant to, to, to take us down as far as uh, our, our own, you know, uh, we can only control so much in our life, right? And, and you know, it's like, we show up to to vote to do our part, you know? and and it's not about it like like taking Jason. taking us down, mm -hmm. right? I, any any way that that it, it, it does turn out, it's we, you know we will uh, still it's it's incumbent on us to, to move forward in in our own path, mm -hmm. that which we can do, you know? mm -hmm. not, not to like just go go crazy. Right? Do you see a win? Uh, I, I do, but I, I also see where you know the, the aspects of, of healing, of, of nurturing, that these are things that are outcomes of the election for for us as a. But uh, who's going to provide those type of right. emotions? So, so for us. I'm looking at uh, Clinton here mm -hmm. and then Trump mm -hmm. here. <clears throat> okay, so with. With with Clinton, uh, I mean, I'll just Chris Reese just show these. The, mm -hmm. the card of, of patience comes up. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the seven of pentacles and uh, the ace of wands, right? Which is which is a card of a, a, a new uh, opportunity. Mm -hmm. right? It's it's mm -hmm. like a, mm -hmm. a, a new beginning, and then the world. Okay. Which is a card of, of success. Which kind of says right? what to you? <laughs> well, depending on 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 what what Trump's. Uh, Cards are the, the, the chair. Show his since you showed her. Show his. Yeah. Thank you. Those are Trump's cards, which yeah, are in, in this order, right? Uh huh. Interestingly, a lot of Pentacles show up. You know, which but that's is, not a surprise. I actually am getting him mm -hmm. as a King of Pentacles, even in this spread. So that's not a surprise that money is abound. Right. It, it's it's like it, it's it's about. You know, he he is like a force of nature, right? It's like the chariot is about, like, you know, this this energy that that wants to be expressed. Yes. You know, but it's it's emotion based, right? Yes. And uh, the, the ten of pentacles that's a card of of like coming into a, a windfall. More money. Money, and then the okay. eight of pentacles, which is a card of 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 work, but okay. it's it's work that's that's more in the line alignment with. With kind of his his own thing, you know, which is like again, kind of like making money. <laughs> What's so, your answer? so I I see her her winning the the election, and I see him winning a, a new business opportunity. For totally, himself. totally agree with you. Totally. First of all, he's gonna uh, lose like a child. Okay, 
all the world, ironically I got the world card with him, but next to the world card is the Ten of Swords, mm -hmm. which means I'm a sore loser. The Eight of Wands is probably already lost, mm -hmm. all right? With her, I get a lot of conflict in the past, the sun, and victory. These two oh, cards wow. give me a resounding yes. Wow. When I look at the cards in general, it's a mess. I see childish behavior from um, Trump, which is kind of like feminine child. I see childish behavior coming from her, which is like a 10-year-old boy. Like, I'm going to hit back. You say one more word. I'm just going to, I'm going to knock you down. That's Hillary. All right. Um, but the, the, the road to get there was so long and so exhausting. And it. Did this like restart or something? No, just tap it. Tap it twice. <clears throat> kind of way. It was kind of fun for both parties. Well, it's, it's been they a, really enjoyed this. A We're cycle. dying. The public is dying. Yeah, and yeah. they are just like, I can't wait to see what I'm going to say to him tomorrow. This is Trump in, in, on a toilet, 3 o'clock in the morning, and this is her with her team. And let's nail him for that, and let's get him for that. I happen to notice Hillary's language is about Trump, Trump, Trump. She hasn't really said to me what she plans on doing. Neither has Trump, mm -hmm. but I'm looking at one party. That's all I could look at. And I happen to notice it's all about Trump, and she's not being committed to anything. That bothers me. I don't expect Trump to be committed to anything. I expect him, particularly mm -hmm. in the first year, if he were to get elected, to prance around like a prince. Oh, yeah, I did it. Look at me. Did you know I was president? Like, I see him doing that for a year. And I, right? <laughs> Call me. Mr. President, like he's that type. Yeah. yeah. We don't tell a five-year-old child, Donald, excuse you, young man, I am Mr. President to you. That would be Donald, all right? My point to you is, you're right. I think Hillary does win. I think that Donald shows up with a lot of money in tow. It could be business ventures. It could be money. But I also think it, it could be you know, the death of him. I think that That's there's some exposure. Card, mm -hmm. It's my death card. The shadow side. Mm -hmm. Money is his problem. Money, money, money is his problem. Not wanting to be president. It's money. So being president guarantees him never to file for bankruptcy for the rest of his life. Money is his problem. Um... I don't know how to end this. Let's just end it with, yeah, I agree with you. Hillary would, would win. Well, what, is, what does that mean for you, the two of swords? The, sometimes the, 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 I can the read it. Sometimes I can't read it. I just <laughs> think it has something to do with Donald. You know, I don't know. The two of swords is, oh, I know what it is. It's waiting two more years. That's when the cycle begins again. That's when we got to start all over yeah. again with Donald because he is determined to get in whether it kills him or not. Do you and, think he would run again? Well, I think as long as nothing too crazy comes out and he can pay people off, I think he definitely will win again because I think he will wants... Will win again? Will win again. I think he wants to make Hillary's... Will win again. No, don't do that. No, no. No, I'm, no that I'm, was not a slip of a tongue. I think... I apologize. No, that wasn't a slip. I don't have these slips. Okay. I'm not that person. Right. Um, I definitely think Hillary would win. I think... He's going to make sure that she does not get to enjoy, which I think I said this in the last uh, thing with Dylan, that she does not get to enjoy her presidency. Well, and I, he I, will have enough I money to do it. I can see that card, though, as, as one of, you know, kind of just being being a thorn in, in one side, right? Because it's, it's about blocking hard energy. It's about blocking, you know... Uh, when we're when we're open to to something, when we when mm -hmm. we love it, when we move forward, even for ourselves, you know, because we do that as individuals, where we we don't give ourselves the permission to 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 un un shield, you know, our, our own heart and, and enjoy something, you know, when we're when we're working towards it. How old is Donald? Because someone just said 70. that he won't be able to run. He's seventy. What's the limit? Seventy-five. You have to be thirty-five. No, to, the, to run. The limit, like what's the maximum? There is no limit. There really isn't. No, you could you be, be ninety a, you and be run. You hundred years old and run for president. There you go. Yeah. 
And as far as uh, Hillary's concern, I did notice in Dylan's reading, which is the reason why I like doing uh, the separate ones, because something did come up different mm -hmm. in Dylan's, yeah. which was her focus is going to be on international affairs. Mm, interesting. Well, I mean, I, you because know, that's the what she knows. Yeah. Coming up, you know, I mean, it's as far as. But somebody did say she's probably going to start mm -hmm. World War Three, and I have to say, I think we're in World War Three. Mm -hmm. I think Aleppo, Syria, Iraq, Iran. This is all already begun during the Bush administration. Back in '91, you know, we were at war with mm -hmm. uh, Iraq. You know, it's like it, instead of it being this this compact, you know, like World War II was like uh, for the U.S. anyway, it was like four years. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. But but you know, even before that, it was like you know uh, all, all these other battles and countries that were involved it's like instead of it being you know just just as one concentrated effort where it's like just drawn out forever um Cersei that's a good question but if Hillary's in let's not worry about Russia Americans will not have an authentic relationship with Russia but we do have a lot of Hillary haters on right now there's a lot Jason but as far as like uh, a lot uh, I didn't know. But we can only here. do what we see, guys, and we have to trust what we see. Voting's already begun in most states, and it, voting is decided by the electoral vote. So we went over this already. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. Tomorrow I will have a couple of more psychics that are willing to you know, step in front of this game and psychically predict. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. Love you all. Bye. Much love and much blessings. Call us. We're still here, Jason and I, until 10 p.m. 818-985-2010. Bye. All week, presidents. All week. Bye. I hate when I can't stop.